Right, it is officially sweltering outside <laughs> and officially the hottest day of the year so far. For residents at the Boulevard Park Apartments on South Colorado, it's been a rough couple of weeks with the AC system malfunctioning. And that's where Denver 7's Russell Haythorn is live. And Russell, the complex is taking action today. Yeah, you guys, this is one of those situations where the apartment complex is actually doing the right thing. This came in as a tip to contact seven. And tonight, these residents are finally cooling off. So they just installed it. Robert Moorefield is finally getting some relief. Wow. Albeit temporary and limited to one room of his apartment. Rent strike has crossed my mind. Residents at the Boulevard Park Apartments on South Colorado say they've been dealing with AC issues for two years. Fortunately, today, an army of orange shirts came out with nearly 100 window AC units. So they've got all these guys from other properties that they own here. They've got it down to a science. Installing temporary AC in place of a broken central system that worked for a day and a half this past weekend. I turned it on. Oh my God, this is great. The nightmare is over. Then it quit again. Sure enough, uh, yesterday it quit. So uh, uh, everybody was sort of crestfallen about it. While Moorfield is grateful for the temporary relief, he's also frustrated with the seemingly permanent problem. Approach the resident manager. She said, well, it's a luxury, it's not a requirement. Well, that might have been true in 1960. For now, a permanent fix is anyone's guess, as residents deal with it. Well, the, the communication is not real good. I'm lucky in that I live on the very ground floor. So I'm not, I suppose the people who live on the top floor are really suffering. So the apartment complex had no comment for us today, but the property management company that installed those window AC units today told us they should provide relief for the remainder of the summer. We're live in Denver. Russell Haythorn, back to you guys. Yeah, let's hope so. Thank you, Russell.